my God, Lois, you single now? <laughs> no, Glenn, I'm here with Thelma. Who's Thelma? This is Thelma. Ew! Hey, baby, how'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Ah, oh, never mind. Well, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk! Oh, hey, baby, you want to go somewhere? No, 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 wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. <laughs> All right. Ah! Well, why do you say organist if you don't want... I don't understand the world anymore. Peter, what the hell? My car! We 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 oh, we damn it! Hey, hey, come back! Hey, go back! Hey, come 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 Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, we're looking about a four and a half hour flight time today. Uh, we've got clear skies, good visibility. The temperature in Atlanta is 64 degrees. Uh, the flight's going to be a little longer than we've expected. Uh, we've got some very strong headwinds. Giggity. Uh, flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Hello? Oh, you must have a wrong number. There's no one here by the name of Long Rod Von Hugendong. Didn't mean to wake you. Let us forever remember this beautiful young woman, taken from us in the bloom of youth yet as unspoiled as when she was born. So the man asks the bartender to recommend a good drink. The bartender says a grasshopper. So the guy orders a grasshopper. And then he's walking home, and along the way, he notices a grasshopper on the ground. So he says to the grasshopper, Hey, you know there's a drink named after you? The grasshopper says, You mean there's a drink named Irving? <laughs> so which one of you wants to lose your virginity? Glenn, thank you so much for helping me tear up my carpet. Well, you know, Lois, I, I gotta confess, uh, when you called me, I sort of misunderstood what you were asking for. That's why I rushed over, but, uh, it's, well, well you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm happy to help. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt unicorn? Something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. Oh, right. We're going Brazilian. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, this the week you guys were coming out? Huh, and here I am, cream on my face, hair a mess, and in mid-coitus, I must look a sight. And when he woke up in the morning, she was still in his bed! Ah! That's it? Yeah, and then she wanted to make him eggs! Ah! And he said, oh, I don't have time, I got a meeting at 12.30, and she said, I'll drive you there! Ah! And he said, no, no, it's at my office. It's like a half-hour commute. And she said, I don't mind. It's on the way to my kid's preschool. Ah! 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 Lois is going to get the entire female vote because of me. I've been having sex with every woman in town nonstop for the past two days. But my God, if I, if I tried to masturbate right now, you know what would come out? A little flag with the word bang on it. Uh. Well, folks, this is it. The last of the votes have been tallied, and we're getting the final results in now. Quahog's new mayor is... Lois Griffin. Oh. I am not doing that, Glenn. Come on, beautiful. Keep an open mind. You're a sick man. Hey, keep it down. I don't want my neighbors seeing a fat old dirty whore screaming at me on my front lawn. Whore? Well, maybe I should come inside. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> 